look to you so today i'm coming to the video talking about my april tbr i'm only planning to read four books this month but that's like the minimum kind of for me like i feel like i will have the time to fit in like another two books or so but for right now i at least want to finish four books this month so yeah i'm really excited for all of those books so let's talk about them today i'm filming this is april 2nd and i already started the first book on my April TBR and that is Cemetery Boys by Ian Thomas. I've been wanting to read this book ever since the hype for it really just exploded. Everyone loved this book and I really wanted to pick it up and if you didn't watch my Barnes & Noble vlog video you definitely should go check it out but I saw it out on the bookshelves and so I picked it up and I started it yesterday. I got I think 40 or so pages into it and so far I'm really loving it. The writing style is just so beautiful. I cannot believe that a debut author's writing style is just that poetic. And it really feels like it's a master author at their craft. This book is very important. It obviously has opened the doors for so many other trans authors to write what they want to. And I think that this book did a lot for that community. And the plot just also intrigues me so much. And so far, it is definitely living up to it. And I'm really interested in what's going to happen next. A lot of questions have already been raised. It's about this boy named Yeju who came out as transgender a few years ago and has had a hard time trying to fit into and find this new role for himself in his Latinx community. And so one day when his cousin Miguel is murdered, he tries to prove that he is a real brujo and sets out to find the ghost of his uh, cousin Miguel and set his ghost free to the afterlife. And it's like a ghost story turned rom-com and I'm here for that. And I just think I'm really going to enjoy it. So far I'm loving the characters. They are all so unique and developed. And Yedro and her name's Maritza? Yeah, Maritza. They are such great main protagonists and I cannot wait to read their story. I think I'm gonna love this book and I am so far. All right, the next book is a novella and it is one that <laughs> the hype has been crazy and for good reason. That is Breach of Peace by Daniel Green. It actually came out last month, like March 30th, I think. And I just, if you don't know, Daniel Green is a booktuber. He talks about fantasy books. He reviews them. He just does fun little uh, fantasy reviews and videos. He posts almost every single day. I think it's like five times a week now. And this is his fantasy novella. It's like 140 or so pages. And I've just been following his process of like publishing this book and trying to market it and trying to get it so that it could go places that it has got places. I think when he announced it and put it on Amazon, it was like number one in epic fantasy. And that is just amazing. And that's so great to see um, that a booktuber could get to that level of hype and could get his book to the top of the charts like that. And I'm not ready for all the reviews that are going to bash on the book. I hate booktuber bashes but I am going to vlog reading the book and if I don't like it I'm not gonna put that in the uh a video title or anything but I am going to vlog it because I really am excited for this book it's one of my more anticipated releases of this year I don't even know what it's about I think it's a mystery like a murder mystery I don't know I just know that I'm excited for this book the next book on my list is getting its Netflix adaptation soon and that is the only reason I'm reading it now because trust me, I was, I'm perfectly fine with holding off on it, but I really do want to vlog reading this book, vlog my Netflix series reaction, uh, just, I, I, I want to immerse myself in this book for a couple weeks, or days, so yeah, and that is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Everyone has been so hyped for the trailers that have been dropping and I really want to watch them But I feel like I'm gonna get spoiled, but yeah, I really want to watch it I have Netflix and I want to read the book before I watch the adaptation and I just want to be a, f a part of like Yay, this thing is so good or they really messed this series up I just really want to be a part of the community in that way And so I'm going to read this book and I already had it because before I used to think that I had to read this book before Six of Crows because she did write it before she wrote the Six of Crows duology and it is set in the same Grishaverse universe. Um, but I don't think you do. But anyway, I'm going to read this book and I am excited for it. The Grishaverse, the Darkling, Alina. Here I come. I'm really excited to read a Leo Bardugo book. I have very high expectations 
and I hope they can be satisfied. Although I don't have as high expectations for her. I think this is her debut, but I still really do want to enjoy this book, and I know lots of other people do. So yeah. And the last book I officially want to and kind of need to read this month is Speak, the graphic novel edition. I have read the prose novel and absolutely loved it. It was so raw and authentic and well written. I loved it so much. When I was at the library the other day, I usually go to the library to just work and do my homework. And I saw this on the shelves it was pointing out. And so I picked it up. I really want to get into more graphic novels and poetry books this year. So this will be that. And I really liked the one graphic novel that I read last year. I really enjoyed it. So I have high expectations for this one. I, I, I know I love the story. So we'll see how much I love the graphic novel adaptation. Because I already did read the graphic novel adaptation of a story I liked this year. A Long Way Down by uh, Jason Reynolds. And I didn't like it. It, it was. It, I feel like it didn't convey the story, but I'm. I still have high expectations for Speak. But now I just want to show you guys the books that I have on this little shelf here that I brought to boarding school, because uh, I just feel like I want to show it to you guys, and I don't think it's gonna be good enough, uh, or just big enough for a full-length video. First, we have. First we have Lore, I got this in an Owl Creep box, and I am intimidated by its length, but I will read it someday. Uh, tell me if you want a vlog of this book. I genuinely don't know, like, the general reaction to this book. I think people liked it. I read a few reviews right when it came out, and that was it. But, yeah, I definitely want to read this book. The next two are Even If We Break by Marie K. Nishkamp. This is for a vlog, and this, and this is how you lose the time war by Max Gladstone. This is also for a vlog. These are two very different vlogs, but I think you'll enjoy both of them. The point of the vlog is that I don't know much about them, so yeah. Then I got The Desolations of Devil's Acre by Ransom Riggs. This is the finale to one of my favorite series of all time, the Miss Pregnant series, and the only reason I haven't read it is because I'm scared that I won't like it, and so far people have not liked it. Even Jesse Rieri didn't even rate it on Goodreads. Um, but I am still gonna read it. I'm going to give my thoughts and I'm going to do a full length review because this is the sixth book. Um, and m one of my favorite books of all time is in this series. And I have an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. I've had this book, uh, in my dorm and I, and I just haven't finished it, but I really do want to. John, John Green absolutely like raves about it and bias, but I genuinely do think he means what he says. And I really do think I'm going to like it. Alright, I'm just going to go through these quickly. Um, the Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. This is a book that I wanted to read a lot in the beginning. And then I read some reviews. And people said that like the second half is just really w horribly written. And this just falls off. But it has decently high rating on Goodreads. Uh, and I really do want to read I love fairy tale retellings. Can you tell? I have lore. Which... It is a fairy tale retelling, kind of lore retelling. Um, and so, yeah. Then I have If I Tell You the Truth by Jasmine Carr. I've been wanting to read one of Jasmine Carr's books for a while. It's very rare to find an Indian author that has a decent amount of hype, and Jasmine Carr does have a lot of hype. And so I picked it up. It was at my library, and I picked it up. And this is like a pro slash poetry slash illustration book and i am here for that multimedia aspect and i'm really excited to read it and just read about Punjab in canada librarian of auschwitz i love the book thief and this is one of the books that people recommend if you like the book thief so i picked it up the poetry of robert frost ralph ellison game changer i don't think i'm gonna read this one because people say it's controversial but yeah Universe of Wishes, an anthology with some of my favorite authors that I really want to read. Eliza and Monsters, which I picked up in that Barnes & Noble vlog. Uh, reading this, Mr. Penumbra's 24 Hour Bookstore. More Robert Frost, George Orwell, Haiku, Stories, book I really want to read, and Speak Graphic Novel. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Comment down below if you've read any of the books that I want to read. Subscribe, and... I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.